Hello everyone, so today I'm here with a video that I've been wanting to film for a very long time ever since I reorganized my character stickers. So I used to store my character stickers in a big three inch like white plastic binder. I haven't even like really gone through this yet because like it's just a mess. But that's how I used to store them and it worked for a very long time. Um, but it eventually got to the point where pulling stickers just became like such a hassle having to flip through the pages constantly It just wasn't my favorite thing on the planet to do So I of course saw Andrea's character sticker organization and became completely inspired because I love the way she organizes things It makes a lot of sense Um, so I went ahead and did the same thing Um, first and foremost, I did pull out all of my like Christmas and uh, Halloween like character stickers. These are gonna go in their own separate areas later. And while I was pulling and organizing, I also made a massive, hold on, massive D stash stack. So if you would like to win this D stash stack of character stickers, um, I'll put some information below, check it out, but um, it's just a bunch of stuff in here, so yeah, there's all that. I'm just keeping it here. So this is also kind of how we organize. This is how we organize the doodles at SPC. Um, this is how we organize foil. It's just, this system is just so simple. So these are containers are from the container store. They're like the bricks, like the stackable bricks. I can put the exact name of them in the description for you. And I just cut I'm gonna pull one out. Little like cardstock pieces of divider. And then these are the um, character, no, what are they called? Character binder label, binder labels? I don't know what they're called, but they're organization labels in SPC's shop. Some of them I have are custom made, but I mean, they're perfect for organizing. It's just so much easier to flip through this than um do anything else so i have two of these because i thought i would need two but as you can see i just have like a roll of washi in the back holding it together i feel like with a little bit of time i can eventually move to a second one but so far so good so they're in semi-alphabetical order i had them a little bit out of alphabetical order in my last organization so they're out of that as well but it's just so much easier for me to pull so we're gonna go through everything i'm not gonna go into detail with every single character sticker also a side note, I've been planning and purchasing character stickers since 2015. Um, so it's, you know, been about seven years. And so I've acquired quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so up front here, I have just a couple of random things. I have this that Andrea made for me. It's just to, um, this is all the Planet Hannah like foil colors she offers. So it's just for me to kind of match the kits. So I keep that up front so I can just easily reach for that. I also have... A bunch of cute little SPC freebies that might be going into orders soon. I don't know. I don't know. Up front because they're adorable. And then the other thing I have up front here is a Carly Plans 50 plus freebie because everything's assorted on here. I had no real section to put it into. All of my other smaller freebies are over to the side here. I don't have any organization for those. I need to figure that one out. But I kept this up front because the colors are super pretty and it's just something I want to be able to see. Um, so I know to grab. Let me get comfortable. And let's get started. So we'll start with my adulting category. This category can be anything from like organization. If you have, oh, also if you have any questions about any of these sticker sheets, where they're from, just put a timestamp down below and I'll help you out. So I have like organization type stickers, decluttering type stickers. I have multiples of a lot of different sheets, like gardening, donations, anything that has to do with the house. I love these. I wish I gardened more. I really had anticipated to when we moved in, but it just has not happened for me quite yet. Um, any like taxes, paying bills, um, just kind of those types of things. That's kind of what I consider adulting. So that was my adulting category. I hope this is a good way to show my character stickers and isn't like annoying. My next category is my Avery category. It is a little bit small because these are like very specific to Avery. Um, so I just have a couple of these little Fox and Pip builder squads and then two Paper Muse crafts sheets that I specifically have for Avery. So 
that's just my teeny tiny little Ave category. Then I have a bath kind of slash shower category. You might be like, hey, why isn't this specifically in the Avery category or the Reagan category? It's just because when I want to think like bath stickers for them, I don't think to go to their individual categories. I would think to go to here. So that's kind of why I have those here, but these are so cute. I wish I took more baths because these are just so cute, the little reading stickers. And I just couldn't bear to get rid of these like Fox and Cactus Lush related stickers. They're just so dang cute. So that is like my bath slash shower category. These are, are getting a little beat up because I go through them pretty often, but it's all good. Then I have a BFF category. This is different from my friends category. This friends, I'll explain, but BFF is just like, BFF is friends to me. Like this is what my friends category essentially is. So anything that I would do with friends, I love these pumpkin paper co stickers. I feel like this really does look like me and Andrea. It's very cute. I have a bunch of these to mark all of my different friend activities. I love the little workout together ones. So pretty small and cute, just kind of like general BFF type things. Um, then I have a birthday category all my birthday stickers. I think this is like the last sticker I'll use from this sheet and then I'll just probably either put it in D-Sash or toss it. But I have a bunch of cute little like wrapping presents. I felt like I really need more present stickers apparently. So a bunch of birthday type items. I feel like this is a category that I wish there was like different ideas for, but it's just so hard because I feel like you're pretty generalized there. So that is my birthday category. Then I have my cleaning category, which is different from adulting. This is actually like cleaning and taking care of things. Um, so I have all these sorts of doodles and stuff for that. I'm obsessed with these paper and milk ones. These are so cute. I love the washing of the windows. A bunch of sheets in here that it looks like I don't touch really, which is always is fun and exciting. There's bunch of these. I have one left on this sheet. I'm just like patiently waiting to use that one up. As you can see, I'm very like, I have to use a full sheet. I can't just like toss it after if there's only one left. I have a bunch of these Fox and Cactus ones. Like seriously, like a bunch. And then I have the dishwashers from SPC, which are my fave. So that is my cleaning category. Another chunky category that I have here is my computer category. For some reason, back in the day, I thought I needed 8,000 computer stickers. I do not, but I have 8,000 of them pretty much. So tons of doubles of things. A lot of these things that I have a bunch of doubles of are typically stickers that have been like de-stashed to me. So I didn't purchase like that many multiples of things. For example, that one. And then I do have to cut my Pumpkin Paper Co. stickers in half to fit into my organization if you're wondering why those are cut in half. Here's that, these are so cute. I almost de-stashed these, but I just couldn't bear to. I don't know, they're just so cute. Like, it's really difficult. I'm getting hungry, okay. These are so cute. And again, a bunch of these, like most of these were de-stashed to me, so I would purchase like one sheet and then I'd get a bunch of these. So these are literally all fox and cactus here. And then some Stick With The Plan Co. and Women's School Cat Studio. So that is my computer section. Then I have a cook section, which is slowly but surely expanding as I've been doing more cooking type baking things. So this is cooking and baking. Again, I need to purchase more of these stickers because they're so cute. Also, I don't know if you can tell, when I use things, I have to like use them in order for some things. Like if they match, like I have to start at the top. But like for this one, I just went down the line. I don't know, it's weird. Oh, I should be doing this, I'm sorry. But I also have some cute little baking stickers in here. I love the cakes and like the cupcakes. So cute. I love these like little doodle samplers from SPC. They're some of my favorites because it's just, you get a bunch of different things that you wouldn't normally think. I love this one. It's just so pretty. Okay. So that is my cooking slash baking category. Next, I have a doctor category, which doctor is also doctor slash like sick related items. So here's like stomach ache, the all the mask type things I have in here. The farts, these are so funny. Oh, these are so cute. So yeah, like doctor slash stick, stick, 
sure. Sick stickers. <laughs> These are funny. I don't ever want to use those. I hate throwing up. I feel like I'm in the majority there. Anyway, a little two stickers for the dentist. Leg cramps. These are so funny. Those literally came out right when I got a leg cramp from Disney. So those are cute too. So that's my doctor slash sick category. Then we go into emotions. So the first emotion that I have is emotion negative mad. So these are all my like mad stickers, I suppose. Um, which I love. These are so funny. So here's just a bunch of these. I feel like mad could be like, yeah, because I have emotion negative mad, emotion negative sad. I initially had these together, but I apparently have way more negative emotion stickers than I do positive emotion stickers. So love that for me. Anyway, here's all these. They're so funny. Uh, I like the little oomph. <laughs> so cute. It gives me like Reagan vibes. All right, so those were my emotion negative mad stickers. And then I have emotion negative sad, which is another pretty chubby stack here. A lot of ones more with love, as you guys can see. One of my favorite character sticker shops. It's like ones more with love, paper shire, SPC has amazing doodles, paper and milk, like ugh, Coffee Monsters Co. They're just so cute. Look at all these. I feel like I'm hauling, but I'm just slowly going through all of my character stickers here. These are cute too. These are a little big. So are these though. Just that. I have a couple of these because there was a point when I ordered a bunch of these not thinking that I had already had some. All right, so that's my emotion negative sad category. And then we have emotion positive, which is just one. I didn't have to separate this into sections. <gasps> one of these just came out. That's not fun. Hold on. That's actually easy to put back in. Here we go. So here's emotion positive. I needed laughing stickers and I don't remember why. So I have like bright ideas in here, like stuff to motivate me, just do it, stars, good day. The dabbing is definitely a positive emotion. Stretching, sure. Cause it kind of, I don't know, sure. And then I have, I need more of these. And then I have these, which are like some of my favorites, the fangirl stickers. So that's my emotion positive category. And then we have a family category. So this category is mostly like people outside of the family. So like grandparents, well, the cats and then like, you know, stuff of all of us together. So I have like these here, <sighs> the vanilla household, which are like some of my favorite stickers ever. These are so cute. Um, oh, paper muse crafts. I don't, I don't ever want to use these cause they're just so precious. So I have those, let's see, hold on. I have like grandparents, like I said, the cats, so cute. These, which are kind of difficult to use cause we have two kiddos now, more cats more cats and then the little teddy bears because i just thought those would be cute to mark like general baby type stuff maybe i don't know then we go into the food categories food is broken down into one two three four five six seven eight different categories because it makes things so much easier so first we start with general food general food is anything that doesn't fit into any of the other categories so this is going to be weird stuff that i just don't think can work so we have like things like hot wings sandwiches hot dogs <laughs> things like that i love food stickers they're some of my favorite stickers on this whole planet like oh my god i love these oh, i just love food stickers so much i have so many of these you guys oh, the barbecue we haven't had barbecue in so dang long Lop are these lobster rolls girl crab legs i still need to use those i haven't had seafood that i haven't made in a while so yeah so these could be considered fast food but i have them in here because like what if we go to like a burger place you know what i mean like hop dotty or something i don't know you never know this is just generic food well here a bunch of the once more with love mini sheets a bunch of salad why do i have so many of these who knows but they end up getting used so that's good the soups so this was my general mostly chicken it looks like 
food category and then we go into the more breakdowns of the food so first we have food asian which is anything from like takeout to ramen to sushi so i have a ton of stickers asian food stickers so this is what i mean when i say i want to use up a sheet before i move on to the next one um so i have a bunch of those oh grin and bear it see i have one left of my ramen stickers i used to have like six of these at a time because we used to get jinya like two three times a week which is too much but it was so good so good look at these these are so cute i always forget i have half of these but i, I just love them so much chopsticks work for asian food takeout containers these i've had for literally forever these asian food doodles i love them though they're so cute these sushi this asian takeout perfect this takeout these stickers are so dang cute and then i have a bunch of like again once north love mini sheets of stickers because I just couldn't control myself when those came out. So that's my Asian food Asian category. Then we have food breakfast, which shocker at the first one here, my cinnamon roll sheet. Ton of breakfast type foods in here. Don't think I need that many pancake stickers, but you know, here we are. I love this. This was like one of my favorite sheets for the longest time. So cute. The cereals. Oh, I love this one. So cute. Who just texted me? AGB. I have to check that in a second. Hold on. Because we just got an order in from, or we just ordered AGB and they said they have some substitutions and I don't trust their substitutions ever. But anyway, here's all my breakfast category stickers and that is food breakfast. Let's see. Where's the thing for that? Right here. Push that in. I'm back. The only thing they wanted to substitute was a bag of chips, so that wasn't terrible. Okay, so anyway, after food breakfast, we go into food, drinks, coffee. Why is coffee? Oh, because I have drinks separate. So I have food, drinks, coffee, and then food, drinks. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So this is all my coffee-related stickers. I have a ton of them. As I feel like you guys have seen throughout my plan with me is I've been wanting to use these soon. Hopefully a Star Wars spread comes up in my near future because I really want to use those for a Star Wars spread. I have a bunch of coffee related stickers. That was one sheet, sorry. A couple of those. I only have three left on this sheet. I really want to finish that one off. I have a bunch of SPC doodles, which are perfect. I love these that just came out. They're so cute. Oops, I think I pissed. Oh, no, I didn't pass one. Okay, there's that. These. And then I have a bunch of these fox and cactus ones and this paper and milk. So I guess I don't have as many as I thought I did, but still a good chunk. And so that's food, drinks, coffee. And then we go into just food, drinks. So like, I would suppose like soda. Sorry, that's not going in. Soda and like alcohol, I guess. So let's see. Or milkshakes too. Perfect. So like milkshakes, some wine, some Dr. Pepper. Here's all like the alcoholic ones. Hungover, I guess. Yes, the hangover beer. And some smoothies and another little sheet of Dr. Pepper. So not a not a big section whatsoever. And then we go into food fast. This is another chunky one. This is all my fast food related stickers. A bunch of SPC doodles in here because there's a bunch of fast food doodles. So we'll get into those. Just like burgers. Uh, McDonald's mostly. Chipotle. I always forget I have these. These are cute. All my little Pretty and Primco Chick-fil-A stickers because those are so cute. Hot dogs are in here. I don't know why. Oh, maybe for Sonic. I don't know why those are in here. Ah, my phone just went off. Let me turn that because it's kind of annoying. Anyway, a bunch of these right here from Once North Love. And then we go into the doodles again. Whataburger, Taco Bell, Popeyes, Panera, McDonald's, Chipotle. I love them. They're so cute. And then more. Wendy's, in and out Chipotle, or did I say Chipotle before? Oh yeah, Chipotle, Cane's, Sonic, and Burger King. <laughs> Perfect, so that's my fast food category. And then we have a food, pizza, and tacos category, which I have pizza and taco stickers, so just a bunch of these. I only have one left on this sheet. Again, pizzas and tacos and burritos. Not a large category by any means, but it works. And then the last food category I have is food sweet. This used to confuse me in my old system because I would have food sweet with food breakfast and it was very confusing. So 
food sweet needed to be its own thing. I love these brownie stickers. Those are so cute. So these are just all sweets, cookies, brownies, cakes, ice cream, s'mores, snow cones, just the lot, the lot, you guys. These are some that Andrea cut off and gave to me, which is really sweet of her. Some pies, ice cream, froyo, popsicles, chocolate bars, cupcakes, those kind of things. Those could probably be put in my birthday section, but that's fine there. So that is the food sweets category. And then we have a friends category, which is different from the BFF. I feel like the BFF is like my friends category. And this is mostly just like game related stickers, like game night kind of stuff. So we have like, you know, I guess this could be in BFF too, but um, some friends are family, like video game type things. I just kind of keep those in here like friend activities, like things you would do with friends, I guess. Um, I don't know, I just thought it was cute to keep it like this. So there's all of these, and there's that category. Then we have a grocery category, which is fairly self-explanatory. So here I have all my grocery stickers. Again, I have a bunch of these, there's that some of these i love the little farmer ones i don't know why i bought these i just thought they were so dang cute i needed them they were just so cute some of the newer spc doodles there's those so that's my grocery category then we have a hair category which i feel like i could condense to my pamper category but i'm just gonna keep it this is just everything that has to do with hair there's only four sheets in here uh, or five excuse me two are the same from stick with the plan co i have this one like hair cutting I don't know, two from Paper Shire. I don't know, it's just there. So that's my hair category. And then I have a happy mail category, which is all mail related stickers. So I have like my post office drop, doodles, all sorts of stuff in here. I've been wanting to use these as well, but they, oh, they could have matched my Valentine's Day spread. That would have been cute. I have a bunch of these letters to Apollo, little mail trucks. Those are so cute. I love happy mail stickers. They make me what do you know happy a couple of these paper and milk ones i have like the amazon stickers in here because i don't know it's happy mail so it works a bunch of these apparently and then my hello fresh so that is the happy mail category and then we go into my holiday category so these are um all holidays that aren't Christmas and Halloween and I have them so I just recently did this like today I had all my Valentine's Day stuff in the front but because Valentine's Day is over I just moved it to the back and I have it organized in like order of what holiday is next so I have St. Patrick's Day oh my god these Easter stickers are to die for um Easter then we go into 4th of July Thanksgiving and then New Year's that's kind of all the stickers that I have that are oh my god I have so many of these um holiday related and that's just kind of how I keep them because it's just it's so much easier to keep them in the order of like where they fall within the year and then I just move it to the back when it's time I forgot I had those new year stickers when I did the cheers spread and I'm pretty sad about that so that is my holiday section again that is not Christmas or Halloween I do want to like I said do a Christmas and Halloween organization and maybe once I finish that I can film that as well for you guys and then I have a kids section. This section is, um, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's just like all like kid related stuff. It's just kind of how it is. So I have a bunch of these baby stickers because I bought a bunch of these when I was pregnant or right after I had Reagan and I didn't end up using as many as I thought, but lots of babies in my life. So I need those. Again, I just have like baby related stickers. Um, these are like doing stuff with the kids. See, like these could go in the Avery section, but like they just make sense for the kids section in my brain. Like my, that's how my brain works. Um, stuff for like Brian and the girls. Um, let's see, oh, baby related stuff. Again, I have a lot of babies in my life, so could use those. Oh, those are my favorites. Some like play date type stickers going off to school, which those could be in the school section um tooth fairy stuff coloring kid activities so like playing with play-doh legos um these are super cute again play date type stuff playground outside reading these are really cute i think i just got those too and yeah more like play date type stuff so that's my kid section um, okay, and then we have our laundry section. 
which isn't that big actually. Here we go. So there's oh, my favorite laundry stickers of all time. I bought three more sheets of them because they're just so dang cute. Okay, and then we have like fall ones. Again, a big, a big chunk of fox and cactus. These are huge. A couple Coffee Monsters Co. Love those. Probably should put those together, huh? There we go. So that's my little laundry section. Ow, I just bumped my elbow. And then we have a me time section. Me time could is literally just like basically just stuff that I do by myself, I guess. So we have like PJ related stickers, relaxing. This is like more so day off type stuff. I think that works for me time. Puzzles. I love the like single Valentine's Day because it's very like love yourself, which is nice. Getting tattoos, some candles being cozy, just mostly being cozy, going on walks, um, like fall cozy related stickers. Oh, slippers, I love those. Another tattoo gun, a boom box. I thought that was funny, like listening to music and then just spending time in bed. So that is my me time section. Again, these are like very out of order because I have more else stuff here, so it's fine. Next we have our love sections. This is like the me and Brian type stuff. I have love and then love TV because as y'all know, we watch a lot of TV together. So these are just like the general couple stickers that I have. I'm already running out of breath. I think I talked, well, I did just film another video. So like I'm running, but these are so cute. I had to get a bunch of these because they're so cute. The boops, I love these. A bunch of the paper shire ones because these are adorable. The cooking together these ones are so cute i want to take like a cooking class with him i think that'd be so fun there's that a couple of these this was like another collection she did some of the wedding stickers and then like the foot pop so that was like the general love section and then like i said we have love tv which is us basically watching shows and stuff together which i have a bunch of each sheet because some of my favorite sheets ever so Go into those, a bunch of these. Didn't even realize that. Oh my goodness, Avery's up here, so if you hear her chatting, she's playing. And then I have a bunch of those and these. So that's my love TV section. Oh boy, are y'all ready for this next one? So then I have a couple magical sections. The first one is, so this is like my Disney stickers. So this is magical Once More With Love. This is all of my character stickers from Once More With Love that are Disney themed. Needed a drink. Are y'all ready? Got Princess and the Frog, Beauty and the Beast, some Toy Story related stickers, some Star Wars related stickers, a bunch of Baby Yoda. I cut this out to give to a friend, Sleeping Beauty, some very old villain stickers, Pocahontas, Monsters Inc., Lilo and Stitch, Moana, Pinocchio, Brave, Alice in Wonderland, a couple. There was a point where I was buying like multiples of these and then I was like, I shouldn't buy multiples because I hope she keeps them in shop. So anyway, there's that. Aladdin, Cinderella, Hunchback of Notre Dame, some Onward stickers, um, the old princess one, some like general Magic Kingdom, Haunted Mansion, Snow White, just Mickey ears, Little Mermaid, I probably should get another sheet of those, huh? Lion King, Nightmare Before Christmas, Hercules, Mulan, Winnie the Pooh, I had to get, look how many Frozen stickers I went through. I'm probably gonna go through more because I'm about to do another Frozen spread. Uh, Frozen, some Christmas ears, Wreck-It Ralph, Up, some older princesses, Halloween ears, Hocus Pocus. I, I need to use these books for like reading in Halloween. And Rapunzel, Tangled. So that was my magical, just once more with love stickers. And then we just have a general magical section, which is like every other shop, Disney related stuff. So here they all are here. I love the rides. These are so cute the treats there you go there's that i have a bunch of some of these especially like the assorted sheets i feel like i need to get multiple of because like what if i need more than one of those stickers you know what i mean so love this haunted mansion sheet so cute love the princesses All the star wars stickers winnie the pooh stuff I love the print. I love that Esmeralda's on the. I mean, I like the Esmeralda Meg. Is anybody else like different that's not normally on here? No. I feel like Tinkerbell needs to be on here. I don't know why we need two of them. 
You all know what I mean. Anyway, oh, these are huge, but I love them. More cute little Star Wars stickers. I'm obsessed. All right, I got a bunch of these again. There's another one of that. That's probably could be better organized, but we'll save that for another day. So that was my magical section. And then again, next few sections are the same, but categorized. So I have a movie section. The first is movie characters. So these are all characters from different movies. I have Charlie Brown, I have Bear Bears, drag, I mean like TV too, Drag Race. These are like spooky Tim Burton characters, Coraline, the assorted like villains, I guess. Sure, spooky stuff. Adam's Family. Um, God, why do I have three of these? Edward Scissorhands. Um, Influential Women. Elf. Beetlejuice. I definitely needed to get a few of because y'all know that's my favorite movie of all time. This is all I had left from the Pumpkin Paper Co. Beetlejuice sheet. Adam's Family. I had a couple Labyrinth here. Um, it. Little Shop of Horrors. We actually just watched something related to that yesterday. Scooby Doo. Villain. Villains? Horror icons. Why am I saying villains? Again, same thing with these. I have a bunch of these. Bunch of it sheets. Um, video games are apparently in here. <laughs> Hamilton, which I watched like once. The Office. Uh, more video game type stuff. I couldn't bear to get rid of these because I felt like Avery eventually will want those. More The Office. Lord of the Rings. Great Britain. Great British Bake Off. Schitt's Creek. Bob's Burgers. Oh, I love Gale. Um, friends, Bridgerton. Ooh, these could come in handy. Sorry. Uh, sweaters of David that's like Shit's Creek. Trolls, Black Lives Matter. There's my Black Lives Matter and my Pride Sheets. Girl, I've been looking for those. Dinosaurs, Baby Sharks, Joe Exotic. And then there's like a, some animals in here because I didn't know where else to put those. More friends, Stranger Things, which I need to put this one behind this one. There we go. Uh, Jurassic Park, Jaws, more Bridgerton more Bear Bears, Game of Thrones, and Mean Girls. So that's like my movie characters section. And then we have movies, Harry Potter, because I needed a full Harry Potter section, although it is pretty small. Um, so I have some of the new doodles from SPC, Carly Plans doodles. I have only four, I think, or three, I guess, of the Wonton in a Million stickers, because like I just wanted to collect these. I thought they were really cute. Um, so again, these are just all like Harry Potter related stickers, which I thought I had more of, but maybe I de-stashed de some of them. I think I did actually. So that was my movies, Harry Potter section. And then I have a generic movies section, which this is for like going to see movies. And like, this is like by myself. So this is where I keep like my YouTube binge ones, Netflix, you know, this kind of stuff. So just like watching movies. I have a bunch of these apparently. Um, let's see. Yeah, just like going to the movies and watching Netflix and doing all sorts of stuff And this is like by myself because as you guys saw I have a love TV category. So that's like stuff that I watch with Brian I'm like Exhausted. This is cute. This could go in my um, Halloween section, but I like it in there and then like Netflix Disney plus Hulu, so that's my like generic I guess movie section then we have a mom life section. This to me is like all of the mom life type things slash pregnancy section. So I just used a tantrum sticker. So I have that. Some of the best life mom life ones, which are cute. Keeping these for maybe when people tell me they're pregnant or mm, I don't want to put that into the universe. So I'm not going to say it. <laughs> more pregnancy related stickers, more mom life stuff. This is me almost every night. These are so cute though. I love it. Anyway, that's the mom life stickers. Then we have the pamper section, which is this like makeup and nails. So I have some really cute stickers to mark those. I've just recently got some more nail related stickers because the girls love having their nails painted. So paint nails painted, yes. So had to get those. Like, you know, like girly nights type stuff, putting on makeup, the whole shebang. So that's my pamper section. Then I have a phone section, which obviously is for like calling or FaceTiming people. I feel like this could use a little bit more love too. I have hardly any stickers here. Maybe I'll grab some of the phone doodles from SPC next time I'm at work because that could work. Then I have a planning section. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Again, another section that maybe could use some love, but also at the same time, I hardly ever mark when I'm planning. 
So I don't think I need to really focus on it too much right now. But it's very cute. Crafting, things like that. I love these. So that's my planning section. Then we have a pool section. I forgot I had this. I think I accidentally just put some seasonal summer stuff into where it could have been in a pool section. But anyway, pool section, again, pretty self-explanatory. Very cute, I love all of these. Perfect for summertime. Oh, I can't wait, I'm so looking forward to going to the pool. So there's that. And then I have my reading section. Has all my book related stickers in here. A bunch of these fox and cactus ones again. There's these. These were um, couch potatoes, but the only ones I had left were reading, so I just tossed those in there. And there's that. So that's my reading section. I kind of want to add a little bit more to that too eventually. Then I have a Reagan section. Same with Avery. It's pretty small. I think it's the same sheets. Yeah, it's, well, no, a little bit different. We got the potty training ones in here, but little Reagan stickers. Um, okay, and then we have school related stickers. These are for like things that have to do with Avery and eventually Reagan. So I should probably get these with little blonde hair too. Like crafting, scissors, all the cute little school related mini sheets from Once More With Love. Some of these letters to Apollo sheets. These got mixed up. All the school related stuff. Obviously. Very cute. I love these buses. I'm going to be using this very soon and I'm so excited. You'll see why very soon. So there's that section. Then I have a shopping section. This is like mostly Target. <laughs> so like Target and yeah, mostly just Target. So these are all the doodles from SPC, like sale related stuff. Shop small, that's perfect. Costco, which I still haven't used. I don't think we've gone to Costco in such a long time. Just some like bill related stuff as well. Because any sort of spending money, I guess, makes the most sense for me. These are so old. We just went to Sephora. That's cute. There's these. They arrived. So cute. My favorite Target stickers of all time. There's that. So that is my shopping category. All right, and then next up we get into seasonal. So I start with seasonal spring. So these are all mostly just like rainy day type stickers in spring emojis, but like mostly just like rainy day and flowers for seasonal spring. Seasonal summer, like I said, I just put some in here that probably could have went in the pool section, but this is all like, again, just summer activities. These are definitely all gonna go in the pool section. So I love the burnt ones so much. Just all summer activities and doodle sheets that remind me of summertime so good the ac thing that's hilarious so that's my summer section and then i have a fall section again just all things that give full-on fall vibes i have a lot of these like fashion girl ones in here i think yeah like these i just couldn't bear to part with they're just so cute for just like cozy nights and things like that in the fall time. And then last for the seasonal, I have seasonal winter. We're almost done guys. Again, just stickers that remind me of winter time. Basically snow, that's all it really is here. In this section at least. So there's that. And then that's it for seasonal. And then I have my sleep category. I have a bunch of, I feel like you guys have seen mostly all of these in my plan with me is because I do mark sleeping quite a bit and being tired, like for real. And if I get low on a sheet, I tend to just already purchase another one because I get nervous, especially if it's a sheet I use a ton. A bunch of these fox and cactus again. I love these paper and milk ones, so I have a few of these just so I don't ever run out. And that is my sleep category. Then I have a sports category. It's surprisingly not all just soccer. I do have like other stuff that maybe my kids potentially have played or will play. Up front, of course, I do have all my soccer stickers though. I have a few of the SPC doodles, the trophies, um, Carly Plans ones, Planet Hannah ones. Yes, that's Austin FC colors. 
a bunch of these actually. I think I only have four because that's what's on a sheet. These are still all soccer. And then we get into like ballet. <laughs> Avery did ballet, Avery also did swim for a little bit. I have golf in case we go mini golfing and some more dance ones. So that is my sports category. And then I have, like I said, these are not in alphabetical order, but I tried. <laughs> I have a YouTube category. So like filming, anything YouTube related all goes in here. Again, I feel like you've seen mostly all of these stickers before. Bunch of just cameras. I thought that was two sheets in one. These are so cute. Ah. A couple of those and a couple of these. So those are my YouTube related stickers. And then I have travel. So anything that has to do with traveling, car, plane, packing, anything like that. Um, locations, there's a lot of locations in here. I love these, my parents have a little RV. So like, God, these are old. New York, Vegas, the strippers for Vegas. Um, these are Texas from Wonton a Million. That's so cute. Some more of the fox and cactus ones, the cars. I love these carnival stickers. They're so cute. Again, like packing, car stuff, planes. It's my travel section. Then I have, we're almost done. I have a wax melts section. So of course I have a bunch of these because these are my faves. These are these are the brights, but 174 from SPC. And then literally my favorites. I have some of the wax bars, the warmers. Come on. That was our collab. So I have a bunch of wax melt related stickers here. These are super cute. A bunch of the see me draw ones. These are my, like one of my favorite sheets. Some of the candles. Very cute. Some more snap bars. So that is my like wax melt section. And then we go into work sections. My work sections are in two. So I work fantasy wax, which is all like fantasy wax related stuff. So like packing order type things. I moved these sticker shop ones over here when it's just the brainstorm ones left. Printing lists or printing invoices, packing, post office type stuff. This is all fantasy wax type work. And then I have work SPC which goes into here. So I actually just got those print and cut. I love these sticker shop ones. They're so cute from Paper Shire. Just goes into this section. And there's some customs, doodles. Clearly this is a fave and those. So that's my work like SPC related stickers. And then I have my workout stickers. This section actually just started, like just got expanded because as you guys know, I just recently started working out more. So I have a bunch of stickers for that. Some of the bikes from Carly Plans. So that is my workout section. And then last but not least, we have limited edition colorways, which I'm not gonna go through all of these, but these are all the limited edition colorways that SPC has come out with. I have all of them because if they match a spread, I want to use them. So I have all of them here that have been released so far. And that is the back and like basically the brunt of the back of my character sticker organization. So that is this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was very long. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next one.